Hey everybody, this is Jen. Today I'm doing a video about um, something different, um, not for the Share the Love with Miss Jen or my show or my other shows. Um, today I am embarking on a new journey um, in digging deeper in finding myself. And um, I'd like to share my journey with you. This is my day one. This is my day one of becoming more obedient to my calling, to my life purpose, in serving others, serving because of love. But before we can serve others, we have to know ourselves. By knowing yourself, you have to dig out all the bad and the good inside of you. And you need to look them in the eye and let them go. This morning, I woke up. I've come to the realization that I can't wait on people to love me. And I can't just sit there and wait for them. Or just me giving. Because in this world, everything should be in balance. When you give, you receive. So when you are on the, re the giving side all the time, it doesn't balance out everything and there's no harmony. This morning I woke up and I thank God for being alive this morning. And I asked for guidance. And I asked, um, I don't want my will today. I want what He wants me to do. I was contemplating this morning what I wanted to do and today is the first day of my class on the spring equinox um, I'm doing a spiritual journey for 21 days and <clears throat> I'm gonna be on a detox for 21 days I'm excited I'm digging more into my spirituality and um, awakening the divine feminine in me so before I start, I wanted to share with you guys um, something. It's like a message when I wake up in the morning. I I go through my my books and stuff like that, and I kind of something that inspires me. And <clears throat> oops, I have this one. It's called Daily Word for Women. And my message this morning is on page 226 and it's it's a very significant number for me and I've been working on this number for the rest of my life and it's so funny because this number is showing up this morning and the message is responding with love it says if you haven't forgiven yourself something how can you forgive others Forgiveness is an activity by which the Spirit of God gently moves me past hurts and disappointments and on to serenity and fulfillment. So instead of relying on limited reasoning or emotional reactions, I respond to others with love and compassion. I may never know for sure who benefits most from my forgiving, myself or others, but I do know that giving to others from the Spirit of God within me blesses me. I feel better immediately when loving. Caring thoughts and words have replaced any angry thoughts or unpleasant memories. The most enriching experience from forgiveness is that I gain a greater understanding of myself as a spiritual being. I feel the presence of God as the love and gentleness in the forgiveness I give to myself and to others. The love and understanding I give flow from the Spirit of God within me, the I am presence of the Christ Consciousness. Over the last 30 days, I have been healing my inner child. I have been healing 
those wounds that I I buried deep inside me and I know that it was eating me up and it has to come up it needs to be healed this is the time I mean why prolong your agony and be in pain and and be miserable and stay being unhappy a lot of people tells me that miss jen why are you always um positive you know because that's the only choice you can make be positive forgiveness is a very very long process oh my god you guys don't know how how much it takes for someone to heal every person that comes into our lives they are like a thread they weave our life and they are a part of our evolution and if we are so in slumber sleeping and not awake and life will just pass us by and it's sad it's very sad when God is already putting everything in front of you they're trying to wake you up they're trying to give you everything you need so you can wake up like just they're telling you child wake up you know be mindful but there are just people that they don't use their heart they're too logical everything we do from the moment you wake up in the morning you do it everything with the heart because that's all we need love is all we need but how can you love when you have so much hate in you when you have so much pain and suffering and you're bottling it up and nobody out there can understand you and nobody even want to listen to you because they they probably don't know they probably don't know how to to understand you or they probably <clears throat> don't know how to relate to you and that when you open up to people and you take down all these walls the walls that you built forever so that you can you can protect yourself from people who hurts you and when you finally open up and then that's the time they turn their back on you again so what do you do what do you do you cry that's that's okay you cry you you acknowledge the pain you acknowledge the rejection you acknowledge the whatever you're feeling at that moment you have to acknowledge it because if you don't it's gonna eat you up inside anyways <laughs> it's funny because um that's what i was feeling the last few days i i've been going through a lot of emotional purging and i thought that i've done a lot of this like three five years ago but <clears throat> it's it's hard to to let go for things that you know it's it's um that you know that nobody would understand nobody would listen to you my only advice to people or to you guys especially to all the women out there who are looking for love don't look for love don't start loving yourself when you start loving yourself you are telling the world that you deserve it that love is supposed to be on your side that when you love yourself when you're taking care of yourself from the inside out and you are not hurting anyone you are attracting the same love in your life but sometimes even though you're loving yourself 
and you think that you're doing everything you can but how come god how come it's i'm still getting all these people that are hurting me why do they do this to me right and so we question everything and it's like starting all over again after all you've done after all those inner works that you've done why do they come back and hurt you why maybe you're not ready emotionally or maybe you're not just in the same vibration as they are you know or maybe you guys got back together because you have to shake him up or he has to shake you up or something like that anyways I've always known that I am a divine feminine but I was in doubt and I didn't know anything about twin flame relationships and stuff like that I've, I've learned about other stuff but when when you are not ready to learn something God will not put it in front of you because you're not ready but I've touched that um, the idea or the subject of twin flame relationships I've always known that I am the divine feminine I am divine and um, it just happens that during that time I was in a relationship and I didn't love myself I didn't have a lot of love in my life because when I got married when I was 21 years old with the, with this person that I met the love of my life my other part <laughs> my twin we got married when I was 21 and he was at his I guess stage that he's still looking for something and he's not ready for me when I got married I felt like I, I um, it's a start of my life it's a beginning of something to to build I was I was ready to build my life because I didn't had a very good childhood and that was part of the inner healing that I was doing with my inner child and my parents and my ancestors but <clears throat> the twin flame relationship even though you know you love this person so much and you wait and you wait after 22 years you wait then you come back and um, you've grown you've matured you've done your inner work and stuff like that and he comes back and he's charming uh, he's, um, he's, he's using his charm on you because you love this person and you don't see anything bad or anything like that because I'm not there are other people that they look at the relationship and everything is they look at the bad and I'm not like that I look at what's what made me happy in that relationship because when you go back and you're trying to fix a relationship going back in the past and just going back in there and looking at the old I mean the the not so good it's like you're relieving the memories and the pain and as long as you both acknowledge it and you heal it and then you should move on and you should not be talking about it anymore because it's it's balanced it's it's um it's done anyways i am doing this video because i wanted to make a um i wanted to share my story to all of you women out there, to all of you divine feminines, that twin flame relationship, you can wait forever until the energy is balanced. You never know when that is. But all you can do is have faith and trust in the Lord that He knows what He's doing. Because the twin flame relationship is a guided uh, relationship. It's uh, all about divine timing and there's nothing you can do about it no matter how hard or how bad you want your twin flame no matter how bad you want your, to, your divine masculine he is not gonna come to you if it's not the right time but there is free will I think yes there is 
we are done with the old energy and we are here on the new energy when a person is not ready to drop the old energy they are stuck in that loop and they do the same shit over and over again and they would not wake up even though God is already putting everything in front of them even though the signpost the everything is already there but they are not looking they can't see it because they are so stuck in that same sight or the same situation and they can't see past through it I've always believed that if you are on a twin flame relationship if you finally met your twin flame but usually you don't meet your twin flame on the third dimension you'd be so lucky if you do anyways I am sharing my, my story about twin flame relationship because it's it's been it's been a very very long journey and it's very very tiring and we all need love I need love do you because if you are the divine feminine you deserve love you deserve the love that, that the same love that God loves you but you cannot get that love if you don't love yourself enough and so there's a lot more healing to do you heal everything I mean it's 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 not the easiest um, path but one thing that I learned is that God has a path for the divine feminine and the divine masculine for the twin flame relationship there is a path it is a divinely guided path but for some reason what if your divine feminine your divine masculine is out there looking for for that instant gratification love or something like that the love that he's looking all over the place you don't need a hundred a thousand women so that you're, you're so you can fulfill that longing in your heart to be loved you don't need that because there's already one person one one soul your twin flame your div divine feminine is assigned for you your divine feminine is your path I mean yeah if what if you're in a karmic relationship what if your divine masculine is in a karmic relationship guess what once the divine feminine comes up but the divine feminine doesn't want your relationship to end up with your with, with, with the karmic relationship because I believe that when you are on a twin flame journey and that if your partner is with a karmic relationship no one should get hurt no one should get hurt and I know sometimes we want our divine masculine to be with us and we've been waiting for him forever and that's when our jealousy our selfishness our ego comes up because he is ours he belongs to us but what do you do he is with the karmic relationship and so you have to be patient you have to be to be um, you have to grow more of your patience and work more on yourself because if, if that's the situation, that means you have a lot of healing more to do. You have a lot of healing, a lot of letting go, a lot of acknowledging of what is hurting inside of you. Right? But when your divine masculine knows that you are the path, 
he will do everything in his power to step up grow a backbone and be with the divine feminine What if the divine masculine and the karmic relationship situation is not in good terms? It's funny because um, when you are in a relationship with your divine fem uh, masculine, you can feel everything. You can feel his emotion. Sometimes you can even hear him talk. You can, you can feel him. His essence is with you. But sometimes, in my situation, I love him dearly, but I hate it when he sugarcoat everything. When he's he's lying, he you can't lie to an empath. You can't lie to me because you could I could I could feel you. I could feel your energy, and I could see it. I I could I know. It's it's a knowing. It's weird because I know that we are here, you're here for to balance, for harmony, to heal each other and to heal everybody around us. And we're supposed to be partners, right? Because that's what they are. Twin flames are supposed to be like that. You you have each other's back. But um When I, when I put down my walls and I told him my story about something that I've never talked to anyone before and it's, it's bottling up inside me. And he told me, go ahead, you can open up, tell me, stupid me, 